Okay, so this is part one of the Not So Berry Challenge green generation, and I've got Jade all moved into her new house. She is living in the Spice District of San Maishuno. Uh, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to live in the city, um, but not in, a, not in an apartment, just in a house. So she lives kind of like on the edge of uh, the city, closer to the water. It's actually a really nice lot. I did download this from the gallery. Um, it wasn't originally green though, so I did have to kind of give it my own touch. Uh, so we will do like a little tour of her house. It's not entirely full because she didn't have a ton of money when she moved in and um, yeah she we just we have to kind of work with what we have so we'll get some more stuff as we go but this is uh, the inside of the house we come in there's two doors on either side this first door is her office um, I thought it'd be a nice area to set up for her as an office because it's right there looking out the window to the city uh, she's got Amethyst's uh, keyboard here we've got um, Pesca's microphone there as well and then her computer and of course uh, Daisy was it Daisy or Stormy's um, jar of slugs and her $10,000 computer so that's kind of the biggest sacrifice we got the really expensive computer and couldn't afford a ton of stuff so I will update this room that's definitely not how it's gonna stay and then across the hall here we just have the bathroom um, I gave this house kind of like a retro vibe mixed with of course the color green the walls are green, a lot of the furniture is green. This is her living room here. I did, it's not an heirloom, but I did keep the fish that her dad caught. And uh, I got the pen pal collection badge thing and then the picture of Stormy and Amethyst on the wall. And we've got um, Ruby's uh, Ruby. And um, there's the stairs there. And then over here, I really like the kitchen. It's very retro, I'm a huge fan. Haven't done anything like this so far, so I thought I would try it out. Um, and then we've got Clementine's, a little like pizza guy, Chef Gino, and uh, dining room table, bookshelf with another heirloom. I think this, it's also from Clem, but I kept it anyway. And then this is her backyard. I did put the avocados back here, which we're going to get her to plant, um, because Brooklyn, you said you wanted um, her to have a bunch of avocados, and I thought that was a good idea. Oh, also, um, Hunter's bed is under the stairs there. Uh, the upstairs is not very exciting because I did that totally wrong because we couldn't really afford to furnish it too much. Um, this is the hallway and then there's a bedroom here, very small, but it's got like a, a door leading outside. And then this is also a bedroom here, also quite small, but we've got room for a family so that's kind of why I like this house. And then this is the bathroom which I actually really like. It's um, again got the retro vibes going on. It's pretty plain but I really like it. And then this is her bedroom, also really plain. It's a pretty small room too. Um, put as much green as I could without being too over the top. So yeah, I think that it's pretty good. And I'm looking forward to this generation. Uh, there are some parts that I'm not that excited about. We all know that I'm not thrilled about accepting every invitation we get to go somewhere, but I might have to kind of adjust the rules. So far my rules are, uh, we won't go in if she's sleeping or at work or about to go to work, then no, we will not be doing it. We're not going out. Um, other than that, we should be good. So let's purchase a lottery ticket because that would just be life changing if we could win the lottery. That would be amazing. So we're going to do that and then um, we're going to get her a job as well because for the green generation, we have to master, master mixology, video gaming, and programming. We have to master the tech guru career and complete the computer whiz aspiration. We have to accept every invitation to parties and outings with our friends and have at least five good friends and five enemies. Okay, so she got that done. Let's get our job now. We want to be, uh, no, not secret agent, tech guru. Uh, okay, so, oh, and we got some money for that too. Good, because we don't have a laundry room and that was the next thing I wanted to do. So we can actually afford it now, which is good. Um, Yes, can you believe I still want laundry in my game after everything I've been through? Um, we'll sell the coffee pot. So we got a couple of um, perks, I guess, from our job. So let's look at appliances. Hopefully we can afford the stackable ones. Yes, we can. And do they come in green is my next question. They come in this color. I don't really like it. I think I'll just do brown. Yeah, I'll just do brown. And then I'll move this window over because it's like right in the way. That's good. Or do I want the laundry upstairs? Because it's kind of weird to bring it all the way downstairs when it's always going to be upstairs. Yeah, we should do that. I want my plant back. <laughs> I want the plant back that was there. Um, it was... I'm going to go right past it. I just know it. I probably already have, haven't I? Yep. 
There it is. Okay, so where should we put the laundry? Um, maybe for now I'll just... I don't know, because there's no, like, obvious place for it. Unless maybe, like, this chair is the obvious place, and I'm just, like, not seeing it. Yeah, I think we should just do it there. We'll still have the random lamp next to it, of course. Uh, that should be good for now. And then she also needs a um, laundry basket as well. And I don't know if that's going to fit in her room. Again, get rid of the plant and then we're good to go. Uh, can we get a green one? Not really. There's a green one. Okay. Good. So we got our laundry, which is nice because I, I like to play with laundry. Even though it does kill my sims. Um, okay, so she is a code monkey. She is level 3. Uh, we've got all of our promotion tasks done already. She has a daily task, which we have not done. Um, let's get her to make some breakfast for herself, I guess. This is like day one of her uh, her new life. And we did, of course, bring Hunter with us because he is her dog. He, ha he had to join us. You have no idea how nervous I am for our first outing. I'm, I'm just dreading when the phone when the phone rings it's gonna be terrible I will cut out all the loading screens because it's gonna be so annoying to watch oh wow oh wow yeah I forgot what this is like um Pesca's a really good cook so oh, look at her green fingernails oh my god I'm dying over that I'm so happy I got custom content I never thought I would do that I'm such a hypocrite but now I love it how did I go four years without without nail polish in my game. That is, that is crazy to me. And I feel like, okay, oh, okay, interesting, yep, I see, I see. Uh, also, we'll need a garbage bin for outside, I forgot about that. There are always these details that I just forget about so easily. Um, if you have any suggestions for her, for, uh, wow, wow, let me just take a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, so if you have any suggestions for her house, please let me know and I can add or take away or whatever. If you think there are certain things that would suit her style or certain things that I've forgotten, let me know. Okay, so she's making scrambled eggs and bacon. We'll find out tomorrow if we won the lottery or not. Good, you didn't light the house on fire. Wow, she's really growing up. I mean, the old Jade would have killed herself immediately. Pet obsessions. What is he obs obsessed with? The toilet? Well, okay, I'm not here to judge, that's fine. So we do have to work on our mixology as well and we have to finish this. We have to make a video game or an app. Basically my, my whole goal is to do this as quickly as possible um, and get everything done before we move on to like um, the mixology trait because that one we can work on hopefully when our friends ask us to go out and do things um, Let's do programming make plugin practice programming. I don't think she can Quite make an app yet, but she's almost a level six We need to work on on training the dog <laughs> It's funny that we spent so much time teaching him to like do certain tricks But I haven't taught him to not bark or knock over the trash we definitely have to work on that. I don't want to be picking up the trash all the time. That's just going to be annoying. Okay, there's level six. Let's just see now. Okay, no. I thought maybe she had unlocked the skill level to do it, but I don't think so. Uh, so she is 50% done her daily task. She does work tomorrow at 10 a.m., um, I'm not in a huge hurry for her to start a family or anything like that. I am in a huge hurry for this dog to be quiet. <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> well, that's fair. Let's go, <laughs> let's go feed him. I'm like so mad that he won't be quiet. Yeah, I, I do hear ya. It's a problem. There you go. Um, should we go over here to the Spice Festival? Oh, but then we gotta meet people. Ugh. Um... I mean, they got two. Oh, oh, oh. No, we're not. No, absolutely not. We're not doing that. Oh, who's this? Hello. Krishna Gupta. Oh, it's Medi. It's Medi. Oh, that's awkward. The guy we. Wait a minute. What if Jay dated Eddie? He's wearing a green shirt and he's a young adult. Let's go meet him. How awkward is that? 
I mean, oh, oh, speaking of awkward, what is on your face? Uh, who? Oh my god, her outfit. Sometimes it just, it actually, I get physically annoyed with how, like, uh, no, no. You cannot tell me that this, this is what you wore today. Like, are you serious? Okay, so she met Medi. I am afraid of meeting people because then, of course, they're going to ask us to go out and do things. I just like the idea of her dating someone that her mom dated. Discuss interests. Talk, tell joke about monkeys. Tell funny story. Complain about the lottery. Uh, we'll only complain about the lottery if we don't win. Okay, so these two can chat. We already know um, that Medi is married and has a son, um, Medi. <laughs> so, yeah, we, I mean, marrying him isn't an option, but we know he's not opposed to cheating on his wife. It's, I don't even, why is she saying that? She's saying she knows that she cheated on his wife. Okay, they're not getting along, uh, like at all. Complain about cloudy weather. Okay, this isn't going well. It's just not. Why did we meet this girl Jada? I didn't want to do that. You know, that's exactly why I didn't want to come here today. I didn't want to meet multiple Sims. I I just wanted to meet one. Just Just go home. She's uncomfortable because there's disgusting food everywhere. Oh wait, we could practice making drinks right here. Hold on, hold on. That's something, because we do have to max that skill. She's supposed to be down to party um, all the time and have a good time, so... I mean, it does make sense that she would want to hang out here. But she's squeamish, so... This is all really gross. Can we, like, throw it away? I can't throw it away. Sorry, you're out of luck. He's cute. Uh, David uh, Mendez. Let's see. Oh, he's even posing for us. Uh, no, you didn't pass the test. I don't really like your eyebrows. No, I'm just not a fan. Max, congrats on landing that sweet job. Don't call here. Don't call this number. Oh, good. This girl's cleaning up all the gross food. Okay, good. That is good. We didn't plant our avocados yet, but that's alright. She's really upset about the disgusting food all around her. Also, the sweater. Oh my god, I just... I just love it. <laughs> I, I'm i so obsessed with all the new stuff that I downloaded. Did she even get this? Oh good, she's almost at level 2, so we're, we're doing good. I'm so afraid the phone's gonna ring. I have no idea. Oh, also, also. Uh, last time I did the green generation, my phone would ring and I wouldn't see it ringing. And... I, I, I'm not even kidding when I say this. I sometimes ignore the phone because I didn't even see it ringing. So if that happens, um, I'm not ignoring it on purpose. I really am just that dumb. Mixology. I just want to get to level two and then she could probably move on with her day. She is uncomfortable after all. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. I don't know if this bar will always be here. I kind of hope that it will be. Let's go home. She's just... Very uncomfortable. Where is the dog? Oh, uh, always, always doing that. Mizuki, congrats on your recent birthday. Thank you. And then we should go plant these. I do want to have avocados. I don't know if you can just like... Do you just eat them? Or like, do you put them in things? I mean, I know I eat them all the time in real life, but I'm saying in The Sims, what do you do with an avocado? Then we should also water that. And it's springtime. What? What's the sea? Oh, they're in season. Okay. That's good to know. It's funny that you can hear traffic. <laughs> like, you hear, like, honking cars. It's... It's good. I, you get the full experience this way. Um, what do we want to do now? I don't even really know. Uh, she does need to have a little bit of fun. We could go 
but no, not that. We could go play video games for a little bit, maybe. Uh, she doesn't work till 10 a.m., which is good, because I do have a feeling she's going to be called out to do a lot of partying. <laughs> Um, she could also get some leftovers. Uh, I think we're doing really good for her skills, like level 6 for both. And I mean, we're only just starting the green gen right now and we're in level 6, so I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to get her to eat and then she's going to go have a bath. I'm always, always on alert for someone to call and do something. <laughs> always. Uh, no. But a lot of them do call in the middle of the night, which is nice, because then we can say no. No, we're sleeping. Go away. And Hunter wants to go for a walk. Okay, maybe we could do that first. Um, go for a jog. But, I mean, we all know that she won't come back from her jog anyway. And I also don't know if Hunter can use this bed under the stairs. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, wait. No, she does need to go to the bathroom. Okay, do that, and then take him for a walk. He's waiting very patiently. Okay, um... I'm gonna be watching her on this jog, because I just had this feeling she's not gonna come back. He's such a good boy, though. He deserves it so much. Except, I mean, he does roll around in trash and puddles, and he likes to get dirty, but <laughs> that's what, we can't fault him for that. Okay, good. So they're going for their jog, which is nice. Nice little jog around the city. Um, is the festival still going? Wow. I really don't, I have no idea where she's going to go right now. Right through the center of the festival. <laughs> hmm, okay, interesting. Um, I'm just... I don't really want it to be like a super long jog. Can you like go home now? I think that, that should see... see why. I just want to know why. Go home. Yeah, yeah, I... Yeah, I know. Trust me, I, I know. Um... <laughs> Things just never work out the way that I want them to. Uh, take a speedy shower. And then if Hunter's not home, we should probably call him home. Um, I have a feeling he's not just going to come home on his own, so let's just call him. He's asleep wherever he is. Yeah, sleeping on the street. Like, you have a home. Please come live in it. Did you call him? I think she did. Okay, go to sleep. Whatever. Even if she didn't, I mean, he needs to figure it out. Okay, so tomorrow, I think at 10 a.m., we should find out if we won the lottery. I would just love to do that. Apparently, it's a different amount every time. Someone was saying that they won $16,000. And then I've also learned, or heard, that you can even win a million dollars. So it might be a different amount all the time. But, I mean, I would like to win something at some point. Successful. Okay, well, I mean, really not successful. All we did was buy a ticket. I would not call that successful. Is she close with her sister? Oh, not really. Okay, good. So she, her and her sister aren't that close, so hopefully Olive won't ask her to do things. That would be just perfect. Um, oh. Cheerful. Jade is a cheerful sim. Okay, tend to be happy more often. Wow, you don't say. Um, let's go get some leftovers. And she has her first day of work today as a code monkey, whatever that is. Uh, apparently the green gen says that she is like a Penelope Garcia type character, which I am all here for because I really like Penelope Garcia. And go to the washroom. Is, is he playing in a puddle? Okay, he's not. We're good. We are good. And then, um, let's do practice programming. Not for very long, because she has to work anyway, so it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, also, we do have over homework. We can get rid of that. 
We have a couple of fish that we can get rid of. Um, oh, we should actually put these in the fridge. Nothing like a good tetra for dinner. Um, did that even go in? Probably not. I, I, I just, I can't win at The Sims. I'm sure, I'm almost positive that I just threw those and they're hovering somewhere right now. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so yeah, we still have the bugs she collected. Um, which I'm just going to keep. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm attached to them, but I am just holding on to them for some reason. And uh, now she gets to go to work. I'm tempted to get her to make friends at work. Also nervous, though. Oh, we didn't win. Carmelo Vasquez. The best of luck. It doesn't say how much they won, though, either. Why do I never win? Oh, wait, hold on. Cute sim alert. Who's that? Advic? I like him. I like his style. You, however, did not quite make the list. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's... Yeah, we're gonna work hard. Oh, the welcome wagon? Well, why did you choose to come the next day while I'm at work? Now, all these sims are gonna hate us because she didn't say, like, greet them. She's at work, so it's not easy. I really do like the idea of dating Medi. Like, it's gross, but fun. Like, it, it's gross to date someone your mom has slept with. That's just icky. But, I mean, like, why would I not do that? I've done everything else. <laughs> How could I stay away from that? If they could all just leave, that would be great. There we go. Yeah, they're all like, what the hell? She's rude. Yeah, leave. Oh, he stuck around, though. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's make a present. Poor, okay. A small gain. That's all right. So she'll be home at 7 and... What do we want to do next? I do want her to, I don't know. I'm trying to think about, like already thinking about timing for a baby. Uh, I don't know what I want. Or what kind of life Jade should have. Like, should she be married? Should she be a single mom? I just, I don't know. We've got room for two babies. Maybe even three if we really had to cram another one in that room. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know where I, what I see happening with her. Promoted to ace engineer. Wow, that was quick. She is gonna just motor through this career. It's not gonna take her long at all. Uh, get leftovers. I think, actually for this whole challenge, I think she's gonna have a pretty easy time. Uh, where's the dog? Oh, he is sleeping on his bed. Good, I didn't, I wasn't sure if he could go under the stairs or not. Um, I mean, it's wide open, but it's the sim, so you never know. Good, I'm glad he's sleeping there. Oh, she's angry? uncomfortable from icky surroundings. I don't- oh, oh, the plate. Yeah, she's squeamish, so she needs a clean house all the time. Pesca Betancourt. Yeah, that's so weird. Oh! <laughs> I forgot. Oh no. I don't remember- what was she asking us to do? That was my bad. Uh, I've forgotten already. I'm so- I failed the challenge. That's it. We're, it's done. I can't- I can't believe I did that. Ugh. And she, you know what? She could have used some fun too. I wouldn't. I honestly would not have been opposed to going out with Pesca, but I just I'm so used to canceling it that that's what I did. Um, yeah, I in my mind, if if I, it was genuine and I honestly did just forgot, then it's it's okay. I'm gonna give myself a free pass on that one. Um, I do want her to phone Medi though and just chat repeatedly. Does she work tomorrow? Yeah, she does. She works at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. Um, do all those people hate her because she didn't answer the door? Oh, she doesn't even know them. Good. Okay. Usually if you don't answer the door to the welcome wagon, they all hate you. Okay, here it is. Something's crazy going down at the ruins. Want to check it out? Absolutely we do. There we go. And then I will cut this part out. Okay, so we're at the ruins with her stepdad. Weird. Um, but, I mean, maybe we can, like, meet some potential baby daddies. Like, who's this? Oh, that's the same guy, Krishna. We should meet him, because I, I don't mind him at all. And there's this guy, um, Tetsu Mori. And Ritvik. Mizuki. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Uh, that Ira Gupta. Oh, she might be married to that guy. We should find that out. Ask if single. It's like the most important question you can ask. It's either his sister or his mom or his yeah. wife. <laughs> yeah, he's married to Ira. Okay, well, we don't want him then, do we? Uh, 
Oh, the hard no on the cat ears as well. Let's, uh, let's dance. Why not? There's a lot of people showing up. Um, it did say that she's the kind of person who will, like, stay up super late at a party and then have to be at work in the morning. So if she stays late, um, that's just who she is. That's the lady her mom arrested that one time. And she got away with it on a technicality. Can I just, like, do this myself? I wonder if we can shove this guy out and just be the bartender. No? Can I, like, reset him? Practice making drinks? Oh! Oh, I can be. Can I? Oh, I can tend the bar. Does that actually work for our skill, though, tending the bar? No, I don't think it does. Yeah, see, I don't care what people want for a drink. I'm, I'm here to practice drink making. No, I'm not getting you a drink. Don't ask me. You'll have to find your drinks elsewhere. <laughs> I'm here to build my skills. There's a drink right there. Someone can have it. See, she still puts the drinks out. She's just not taking orders. Oh my god, that's a different look. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's not terrible. No, it is. <laughs> Never mind. It really is. Okay, so she's uh, almost level three. We're doing good. She's going to be partying for a while. She does have to work at 9 a.m. I feel like we should just send her home. It's been... It's been real fun. Uh, it is a pretty crazy party we've got going here. Yeah, she, she shouldn't be here anymore. I just want her skill. I like when the skill levels are like... Like an even, not even number, but like full. So if I, she could stay to level three, that would be great. She's gonna have a rough day at work tomorrow, let me just say. 85% complete. Okay, you're so close. She's gonna have the worst sleep, too. Come on, you're, you're, you're just about there. Then you can go home and go to bed. Man, she is gonna party way too hard. Tomorrow's gonna be a rough day. Alright, good enough. Um, so yeah, we went on the outing that we were asked to go on. We're gonna shut down this dance party and go home. She's in a good mood. She's just gonna be really tired from having so much fun. And I think I will wrap up the first episode of The Green Generation right here. Thanks for watching.